Danny, another quick turnaround between games, but you know how are things going ahead of the game at the weekend against Carlisle. Yeah, great game for us. Um, a home game, which is always something that we look forward to. It's great to, to be back at home in front of our supporters, particularly after two tough away travels. Um, so no, the, the, the preparation is good. Um, off the back of the Port Vale game, obviously the, 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 the long travel home and the, the late evening. So um, there's been a lot, lot of recovery since then, which has been good. And then today, um, the two training groups, different pathways, um, but everybody out on the grass and everybody and, and everybody working. Yeah, and, and obviously you got a point away at Port Vale, and now we want to build on that, what we did defensively so well in the first 60 minutes, build on that and go again on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. I think probably our best away performance of the season on, on Tuesday night. I thought we showed um, real togetherness, um, really good defensive organisation and good defensive intensity in the first 60 minutes. Um, and then, you know, you concede to their first shot on target. It was a disappointing goal from our perspective, uh, the first set piece that we've conceded. Um, but you have to decide then as a group what you stand for, and particularly after the disappointment of Walsall. Um, lesser characters and, and lesser teams go under in that moment and we didn't. We, um, we responded really well. I thought the, the, the boys that, that, that come into the game had a real impact. Um, we dominated that last half an hour and uh, yeah, Sampson's goal was, was, was fitting for him, something that he definitely deserved and, and, and certainly fitting for the team because I think it, it, was, uh, it was a very well deserved goal. Yeah, and, and you made a, a number of changes on Tuesday night and you've always said you've got a good squad that you can use whenever you feel you need to use them. That must have uh, reiterated that point. Yeah, I think for us it was, it was the right thing to do to freshen it up, particularly with two away games coming in such short, short succession. Um, it made sense to, to, to freshen the team. We have faith in the, in the whole group and the whole squad and, and particularly when you're in a free game week with the way that we like to play, um, there's a lot of energy and a lot of intensity required. So it, it, made, it made sense to do that and I thought you know, boys like Kells come in and Tom Hopper came in and um, put really good performances together. I thought, um, yeah, Kells brings such personality, has the ability to make people around him 5% better. And Hops, yeah, he just was like two players for us, the way that he worked and the way that he run for the team. And, you know, both are, are selfless individuals and... Um, yeah, I think when we looked at the game plan and going into the Port Val team, uh, sorry, the Port Val game, yeah, we we knew what how we wanted to play and what we wanted to do, and then you have to try to pick the right profiles that can that can that, that can carry that out. And I thought we did that to a man, and I thought, yeah, I spoke about those two boys, and and, and rightly so. But bold me, it was a it was a real team effort. Yeah, and it had to be a team effort again against the Carlisle side that you might now be expecting something a bit different to now that Mike Williams taking charge. Yeah, yeah, Mike Williamson. We've, we've already seen him twice uh, uh, at our stadium this season already. So the third time in, 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 in the opening sort of eight weeks. But yeah, he, he's definitely going to know us for sure. And he, he, he's only been in for three games. But I think it shows a lot about Carlisle. They're a team that were in League One last year. Really ambitious club. The fact that they're able to sign one of the best young managers in, in the level, particularly from one of their rivals in, in MK Dons, who are, who are particularly ambitious themselves. So you've only got to look at, uh, at that recruitment and also the players that they have to know that they're going to, you know, I know this season hasn't started exactly how they would want wanted it to, but we, we have, you know, we're, we're under no illusions that we anticipate them to be right at the top of the division um, come the end of the season. So good manager, clear identity and a clear way that he wants his teams to play. A very good squad. We know it's going to be a, a really tough game. Um, but it's one that we're looking forward to and we love playing at home in front of our home supporters. They make such a, such a difference to, to, to us and um, we were so appreciative of the guys that travelled, particularly the ones that did both Saturday and Tuesday, both away from home. I just thought an incredible effort, incredible commitment to the course from, from, from our supporters and you know, all of us, uh, I know I speak on behalf of the players, that we, we, we really appreciated their efforts. Um, and we were pleased on Tuesday night that we were able to send them home with, 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 with something. And I think they would have, like we did, left Port Bell on Tuesday night pretty proud of the performance. And uh, the, 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 the challenge now is to back it up because 
consistency is king and the, the best players and the best team are consistent um, and, and they back performances up and that's what we're, we're, we're aiming to do come Saturday. Yeah, and we're in a mini run of games now against teams that were relegated last year so should still have strong squads so is it good to be able to put a marker down? Obviously the Fleetwood game's gone there by the by but then Cheltenham come after Carlisle. Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. I think always when you, you play teams that have been in League One, um, they normally come down and um, keep a number of those players. So they, they, they already have quite a strong base to be able to then add to. Um, and yeah, all, all of the teams that have come down, I think it was a very strong League One last year. So all of the teams that have come down from League One um, come with, with players that, that have experienced the level above. Um, and our, our teams that I would anticipate will be right, right at, the, at the top end of the division. So we understand that the, 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 you know, when we looked at the fixture schedule at the, at the beginning of the season, we, we, we looked at October and we knew it was a really tough, ma ma uh, tough month, both in terms of not just the quantity of fix fixtures, but the quality of teams that we play against. But this for us is a, is a, is a great challenge. We're a, we're a growing group. Um, we're trying to get better every day. And um, we're, we're, we're really enjoying the, the challenge of that. And yeah, like I said, we, we took a lot of confidence from Tuesday. I think the resilience that we showed and the determination and the grit that we showed, I think these are, these are just really important qualities if you want to be a consistent team. Um, and these, this for us is, is, is our ambition.